want to quickly tell you guys how to set up a, any um, thicknesser. The outfeed roller is the most crucial thing. This is what makes it feed properly or not. If it's too, um, if it's too low, sorry, too high, the wood will come through. As it comes off the cutter head, it'll just bounce and leave a great big scallop, or worse. So you see that little tool there, which is just an extension from a quarter drive socket set. Lower your platen down until that little tool just clears the, the, cutter, the cutter head by one millimeter. In American language, that's 40 thou. So just um, lower the, open it right up to that four inches or whatever it is lower it down till it's just one millimeter clear then bring that tool forward and put it under the feed out roll adjust the feed out roll down or up or whatever, until it's just sitting on that tool so that's going to give you one millimeter lower than the cutter blades that way you'll have a great feed out and you'll get a really good job there's two screws sort of under that column and two under that one. The other thing is you've got to be really careful. Sometimes you're cussing and swearing and if you have that out feed speed or the feed speed on high speed, sorry on slow speed which is 16 foot a minute, it sometimes jumps out of gear. So I'm running it on 20 which is pushed in and it works okay. As for the locking screws, I don't use them. I just stand here and hold the wheel. They're just a pain in the butt and the vibration with the incredible hardwood, they just fall out. In fact, I don't even know where they are. It's not important, it doesn't matter. Um, there's my beautiful Rapido ba Rapid bandsaw. It's got a 700 millimeter throat. I picked it up for next to nothing and it had come from what's called a trade school, a TAFE in Australia. The rubbers have actually no wear at all on the wheels and there's part of my welding setup. As you can see I don't have any toys in this workshop, I have a hell of a mess. <laughs>